believe it has been a year since we first came together and meet. I was very surprised that you were uh, open to, <laughs> to working on this project. It's amazing how time flies. It's one year. I know. It's a wonderful memory looking at the three of us on the screen and thinking back to our first meeting where I don't think any of us had any idea where this would take us. We're just brainstorming ideas. Now they've been kind of realized and taken us so much further than we hoped into different you know, branched off to different areas. It's been really exciting. Yeah, because in our first meeting, we were just talking about one interview that I recorded, the very first one, and we, I didn't even know who Josh was going to send me to at that point. Um, and that interview has lead to 20 some more others. And then of course we have introduced new features in the past year as well, which is pretty cool. Look how far we have reached in one year, how much we have learned in one year, how many new people we have discovered in one year. It's I amazing. think that has always been why I really want to work on this project is what I'm gaining through working in it, right? I want to learn about harpists that I wouldn't otherwise know about and music that I wouldn't listen to. And this project has really opened me up to that. And if nothing else, that is a, a good takeaway for me for working on this project. Yes. There's so many highlights that we have over the last year. Like I love looking back over the quotes on Instagram and just seeing all the things that we've learned from all our guests. So many aspects of musicianship and playing the harp and all united by that love for harp. It's really been very meaningful. And we've learned so much in it. Like, I'm trying to think what was the, the highlight of the year, but there's just so many that come to mind. I like looking back at the quotes because those are really good snippets mm -hmm. of some of the yeah. conversation that we have had. I have a paper blanks journal with all the quotes in them. And it's very meaningful to look back and recall all those moments, those conversations and mm -hmm. what I've learned in that process in that time as we've been introduced to each of these new guests. And I yes. think the most fun aspect of, of the whole thing is doing it with other people, not just by myself. Like that has been amazing. Mm -hmm. I love the Music Monday features and actually we're listening to the music. So we listen to a lot of the content from our guests before we put out the interviews. It's really fun when it comes up again. And a couple of weeks later, I'm like, oh yes, I really love this album. I want to go listen to it again. Totally. So I've been enjoying that feature yeah. that, that you manage, Victoria, on, um, on Facebook. And it's dangerous because I end up wanting to learn a lot of the music. <laughs> that takes time, but it's so fun. And when it's it before is. Bandcamp Friday, you've got a danger of buying all the albums. Oh don't my have God, yet. yes. <laughs> it's, it's an endless, endless source of squirrels. Okay, I got someone that's trying okay. to bust into our meeting. Hi. Hi. Hi there. It's my guest from Hi. New Zealand. <laughs> Hi. Nice, nice to see you all. Nice to have you here. Okay, why are you here? <laughs> well, I just, I heard there was a meeting on on this really cool team of people and I thought I just want to join it because they have so much fun. Yes, you're, you're oh, in the right meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the team, Anna. Very excited to have you. I know you have been working with us uh, already in the last little bit, but we thought we'll make it official by introducing you to Team Talking Harms. Oh, thank you. It's been um, a really neat, interesting and informative experience working with you guys. And I'm really appreciated everything that you guys have done for Talking Harps and continue to do for Harp World. Why do you want to join our team aside from all the fun that we're having 24 seven <laughs> across <laughs> four time zones? Well, I, I've I find it really interesting to meet new people uh, with their new perspectives on harping. And I think this team brings together um, a lot of interesting people and has a lot of sort of tendrils out into the harp community that we keep exploring. And it's great fun. It is. And I remember in my first initial conversation with you, you have talked about how if you can have one takeaway from everyone that you have talked to, that's that much more things that you can add to your toolbox. And I can really experience that now in working in this project because we were just talking about how much we have learned from our guests uh, in the last year. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's really interesting place to be. Yeah. And, and what about you, mm -hmm. Javier? You were actually my first uh, person to recruit to yes. help. Like what, what got you into wanting to help this crazy person with this crazy idea? I don't know. I thought, yeah, I thought it was a crazy idea enough. <laughs> crazy enough. 
but has has been really really fun and, and being part of this team learning a, a lot about new hubs new music new people every week uh, especially with the referral system with the preparation of all the videos and all the interviews not a single quiet day and then angela of course also got rope into this <laughs> <laughs> and what do you love about being a part of this team? I think it's really meaningful to be able to help contribute towards creating content that contributes to the greater heart world and benefits so many. Um, I think that that's, that's quite an overwhelming to have been offered that opportunity and to belong to the heart world in a sense in, in, in bringing people together and connecting people and creating something that helps to connect us and helps us all kind of uh, lift us all up. So that's, that's just such a privilege to be able to you know, work in the background and contribute towards that content and also to get first dibs on seeing the new content too. I really enjoy. I really enjoy the connection aspect of doing this project. I don't think it would be the mm -hmm. same if you were to say like, Victoria, work on this on your own. Like I think there's so much more that we're gaining by working on it together. And I really like our brainstorming and uh, thinking about what we're going to do next that's all part of the fun of being in this project yes well like a lot of our viewers they don't realize that we have like this close in the team that is literally talking someone in our team is talking to someone else in our team 24 hours a day not necessarily because of the work to do though there is work to do but just because we are a brand talking about our hearts and our each other's lives and become friends over that time as well Ooh. and um and so being able to have that, if you have that happening in the background, that connection between the four of us now, I think does mm. contribute towards making this um, about broadening that connection to other people. Yeah, we yeah. have 24 seven coverage. Yeah, yeah. troubleshooting, Ooh. we're there. <laughs> <laughs> There's always someone, someone in TH office hours. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the time zone tango. Right, that is actually something that I really appreciate about everyone here is this is not a for profit venture and everyone is just volunteering their time to do it and the dedication and the amount of time and thought you've put into the project it has been humongous for me like i i don't know how i can ever uh, repay you in all the work that you have put in but i hope you enjoy what we're doing and will continue to enjoy it it's so special to be able to find people who share that passion and share that love for heart and to be able to talk about that with other people Ooh. Yeah. And I think yes. too, and I remember when we were brainstorming how we would approach the this project, we've always think about it from our perspective as a learner who is looking for information out there. And on one hand, there are so much, but on the other hand, it's so hard to find them. So I thought we we're doing a, hopefully a good enough job in bringing awareness to some of those contents that are out there. I think so. Yeah. I appreciate it just for myself in my own heart floating. Really helpful. Uh, what are some of the pieces that you have discovered through working on this project that you're, you're either learning or have learned? I think Uncharted Shores will be a legendary one because that's our, our Heart Connections theme song. That might be a long project for learning for me, but uh, yeah, that's a piece that I discovered through, through this. And I've really, the more and more I hear it, the more I enjoy it. So I've started learning that. beautiful Nadia Birkenstock duet that Javier and Angela are learning and the minute I you referred it on to us I jumped in and bought it too and I'm now playing it with somebody else you know it's sharing that music and sharing the squirrels yeah. that's and a beautiful piece yes and it's called from silence to heart yeah. I love the name yeah. yes yeah to be metropolis like i don't think i have I, I don't think i've done that much gymnastic on arm ever it's quite the workout mm -hmm. meeting 
Adriano in person and maybe attending one of his concert come 2023, I'm hopeful, Hapfest New Zealand. That is happening. <laughs> so very excited about that. Yeah, and I hope through this all too that we've opened up um, the, the different artists to each other as well and they, mm -hmm. you know, have achieved something out of this. I know we've certainly increased our music spending, purchasing, you know, sort of as aspect of the budget over the last year or so. And, um, you know, hopefully that's had a positive impact on the artists too. Mm -hmm. And another important message that I often hear, especially when I talk to the harpists that have um, more years of experience in the field, is they talk about the importance of nurturing the next generation mm -hmm. of harpists. And I think about, you know, the music that I am learning and listening to and playing and they now become the music that my kids are growing up with and it become part of their normal and hopefully they will continue to have that love of the, the harp music and the instrument when they grow up and then they can continue to spread the joy too. Exactly. I think the flip side of that as well is that um, Talking Harps has created an archive of some quite um, some quite personal moments and some quite um, you know quite provocative moments and, and it's not that any of the harpists that you've spoken to are old or anything like that and are going to um, not be with us in a few years time but it is an archival sort of interview that that will be treasured in the future I think. Yeah. And it's a nice snapshot of that moment in time where they are mm. at in their mm -hmm. career. Mm. And that's one thing I, that really propels me to want to come back to these harpists for more conversations. So that's why we launched Hot Focus, where we talk about some of the topics that we don't necessarily get to cover in Harp Connections. And I, I really like that our artists are so different from one another. Yeah. Um, you think about the fact that we're all playing the same instrument, you think it would sound more or less the same, but it's not the case at all. There are so many uh, different ways that everyone approach their instrument, even from mm -hmm. one person, such mm -hmm. as uh, Sam, right, who play on both the pedal harp and her Celtic arm, and she does very different music on them. That for me is very important as a learner to remind myself not to box into a particular image that there is so much mm -hmm. we can explore. Yeah. And it's fun hearing the history of some of these things, like um, just speaking to Mary, who was one of the first electric harps, to going to um, some of the harpists now who are playing electric harp now as younger harpists mm. we're just starting out on that it's really fun to see where the instruments come from and mm. the growth over the time of the harp and, the, and how it's changed uh, over mm. the years i think that's really interesting and mm. to follow that through with the impact of the harp makers and you know jackie's and the electric harp and things like that is fascinating they're all so connected they are and it's probably my favorite way of celebrating our first year is actually to circle back to the heart maker who had a very heavy role in creating the instrument that many of our um, guests have played. Right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's really a good way to celebrate our first birthday. Mm -hmm.